Oh, that's this way. Okay, hi. I have Je Dr. Jeff Bronstein here. He's the head of the Department of Neurology at UCLA. Hi, Jeff. How are you doing? And I'm briefly. very well. I'm actually the head of movement disorders. Thank I'm not you. the head of the whole department. Thank you. And just real quick, um, the subject of the meeting today was basically... The uh, California Parkinson's Disease Registry, which is a state-mandated uh, uh, collection of uh, uh, data to try to uh, better understand what causes Parkinson's disease. Um, so for example, the crop spraying in California has been studied. Exactly. So we're looking and trying to figure out what causes it by environmental uh, uh, we just want to even know how many people have it. Or is it more common in younger people now than before? All the questions about populations, that's what we're trying to get to. The one key surprise for me was um, a pesticide that used to, is used to kill mice and other uh, little animals in homes and children crawling around on the floors that was um, uh, banned in the year 2000. But you, meant, you said something about that. Well, pesticides are really used a lot uh, in places you don't think of. So we look a lot at farming where the most, you know, the heaviest by quantity, but we're exposed in, in classrooms of kids where they spray the schools to get rid of ants and other critters. Uh, if you walk a golf course, you're probably exposed to more pesticides than the farmers. They use huge amounts of Oh, la la, I know. A lot of cavi caddies over at Riviera. Yeah, exactly. So so we're trying to figure out which pesticides are the bad players. I mean, these there's, they're diverse, and not all of them are bad. They do some good things as well. So we don't want to get rid of everything. We just want to get rid of the bad ones. This is great. Thank you. And to remind us all that, like, after they ban something, for example, in 2000, they're just going to create something new to, to maybe do the same work. Well, we have to support the CDC and, other federal, and the EPA, which are getting cut, because if you ban it, you still have to enforce Force it, and they're they're being defunded as we speak. So we need to support these government agencies that work very well and are there to protect us against big corporations that are trying to make a lot of money. Thank you so so much. Jeff's my doctor, and I'm really really lucky and proud to have him here to speak with us today. Thank you. See you later. Mwah.